In this video, I want to demonstrate the use of the LMBF draw indicator. This has several uses, some of which include assisting objects as you open and close charts or as you apply clean templates. It also allows you to quickly draw horizontal trend lines starting from a specific candle, either dashed or solid. So I just want to give you a demonstration of this. And my recommendation is that you add the LMBF draw indicator to your default template so that every time you open a new chart then the LMBF draw indicator is already present on your chart. To do this you first go to your template menu and open your default template or apply it to the chart. Then drag the LMBF draw indicator from your navigator window onto your chart. OK. Back to your templates menu save template select default.tpl save and overwrite yes so now if you open up a new instance or chart you can see that lmbf draw is already present okay once that's done i now want to add just a few objects to demonstrate how this works. So first let's add a trend line. Maybe add some horizontal support. And a bit of supply. Now typically if you'd close the chart then if you opened it these would all disappear. But let's have a go. Closing chart, file, new chart, open, and they're still there. And the same thing will apply when you add a template to your chart which has that indicator included in the template. So I set up one earlier to add volumes. Okay, there the template keeps the objects that were already there or I go back to the default template. So this works for multiple charts. So if I open multiple Aussie CAD charts, just reduce that in size, and then open a, another one, they all have the same objects in it. Here you can see two charts and the same will apply if I opened a third or a fourth. Now you still need some way to get rid of these objects because otherwise they are very sticky and difficult to get rid of. So to do that you just need to activate your chart, press the D key on your keyboard and they disappear. Then when you close the chart, I'll do it from all otherwise it will and then open your charts again, the objects are gone. Or I can apply the volumes, still no objects. Back to a default. Now, a couple of extra features I have in this indicator is that it's quick to draw horizontal support and resistant lines from a particular candle at either its high or low. You have an option of drawing solid or dashed lines. To draw a solid line, place the cursor either above or below the candle you want to draw. If you draw hold the cursor above, it will draw a line from the high. If you hold it below, it will draw a line from the low of the candle. If you draw a solid line, hold the shift key down and then left click. To draw a dashed line, hold the control key down and left click. And as you can see, these are automatically color coded based on the time frame we're adding them to. So to prove this, let's go to the daily chart now and we'll do the same thing for this. So shift or control left click. You can see this time they're in red. So that concludes this video. I hope all is clear. Thank you for watching.